You just can't keep a good guy down. You guys requested it, we're begging for it, and yeah, ultimately it probably was a smart decision. Make the last Chucky Boy video on Wednesday, the night before the movie opens. I did what you asked me to, so hit that like button. You resurrected Chucky Boy, and who knew Chucky could come back to life? Once he's dead, he's dead, right? This video is going to be a little more laid back. I have a few things to cover. We did get a new clip that we touched upon earlier in the year. Only it was in description form, but now we have the actual clip online to witness. We also have some early reactions of people who apparently have already seen the movie. And last but not least, this box in front of me was sent from someone at MGM. And uh, well, if they've been claiming my videos, I can only imagine that they've sent AIDS in a box. To finish the job. So let's obviously start off with what we're wondering what's in this box. Look, I was hoping it was a Chucky doll, but ain't no Chucky doll gonna fit in here. Says large box. In what world is this large? That's what she said. <laughs> but while I go ahead and open this awkwardly in front of you, because I guess this will be my new career path after Child's Play comes out, I can become an unboxing channel. I mean, I don't think there's anyone out there doing it. Really unheard of market. I don't see anyone else doing this. As I'm opening though this, I want to say, yeah, it was sent by MGM, but there's a couple of people there who've been really friendly and are viewers of this channel. It surprised the hell out of me that there's people involved with this movie who actually try and contact me, letting me know, hey, I love what you do. Keep up the Chucky content. Yeah, if you love what you do, then stop. Pop copy striking my videos. So yeah, don't think MGM is sending me any money or sponsoring Chucky Boy anytime soon. If anything, they're taking money out of his pocket. But the people who aren't in charge of that and that's over their head, like Luke who's in charge of marketing that actually sent me this package, obviously Gabriel Bateman who posted about me on his Instagram, and lastly Tyler Burton Smith who actually wrote Child's Play contacting me saying thank you for all the praise you've been giving the movie. I just don't think my life is gonna get any better than this, so let's enjoy it while we can. First item here. Oh, thank God. I was wanting this. I see this all over the internet, and I've been wanting me this mess. My Chucky Boy outfit is complete, y'all. Oh, I'm putting this on right now. They partnered with Trick or Treat Studio. If they're partnering with them, you could damn sure bet well they're gonna make some sort of doll. Have I gone too far? Is this, is this what I've come to? Honestly, this thing is dope though. It's actually really good quality. It's a hard plastic, bruh. And they even gave me the red eye one. I'm really happy with this. That's cool. Let's see what else we got in here. All right, let's grab the next item. Looks like I got a pen. Oh yeah, I love me a good Chucky pen. My dream is to buy one of those jean jackets and just cover every inch of it with pins and then go to the airport and see what happens. Next thing here is, well, I'm guessing an air freshener. Chucky and MGM trying to tell me I stink. Yeah, they right. And last item, it looks here like they sent me. Aw, oh, this is a poster, that's awesome. This thing's pretty neat right here. Yeah, that's going up right above my bed. Sorry, Jesus, gonna have to take it down. Mother's not gonna like that. All right, looks like I found the secret to better sound quality. Chucky. Now for the 20% of you who are still here after that unboxing video, let's get into some of the Child's Play news. So we had a clip being released. This is something that we talked about that was premiered at WonderCon. The clip in question that we knew at that time was Andy and Karen sitting down. Andy trying to tell his mother that, look, Chucky's alive. I have the proof on my phone. Let me tell you. And Karen going, why do you have another kid's phone that is either dead or missing? But now stepping aside from that description, the actual clip gives us the full look at this. And it looks like it's the scene right before the peekaboo clip that was released a few weeks back where Andy is being taunted by Chucky showing clips of his mother that he's gonna go after. I mean, you can see the bat right there that he's eventually gonna hold up in the second clip. The only interesting thing here that we didn't know before is Karen mentions that Chucky was broken and they got rid of him. That's, that's really interesting that at some point in this movie, Chucky gets broken and thrown away and then that would connect him to sleazy pervy pants who later finds him and is probably trying to fix up the doll for his own collection. This is most likely the turning point right here for Chucky where he goes, all right, Andy threw me away. Time to die. I love the tone of the clip though. Aubrey Plaza's acting here is very different from what we've seen her before. She seems very grounded and serious. And Gabriel Bateman, of course, knocking it out of the park, having that one single tear eye drop roll. Oh, come on. Only future Oscar winning actors can pull that off. Good job, Bateman. Unless you use eye drops then. I'm sorry, Bateman, I gotta take that back. Before getting into some of the reactions of the movie, I do wanna mention, yeah, guys, I know the soundtrack is out, I love it. I think the new Child's Play theme done by Bear McCreary is absolutely phenomenal. I don't think it tops the original, but it's a nice rendition and update of the old one. Also, listening to just some of the themes and songs that are gonna be in this movie, <sighs> Put them into context with the film, I'm gonna love it. But yeah, the soundtrack, phenomenal. Check it out if you haven't. So with the early reactions to this movie, 
they're coming out positive, but there's only a handful of them. A lot of these reviews, though, are foreign because it looks like foreign countries are getting this movie earlier than us. Like, one person from the Philippines, they already had an advanced screening of it. And this one person who attended said he gives the movie a 10 out of 10, that he absolutely loved it, and is excited for Child's Play 2. So, are they hinting at a sequel by the end of this? That would be great. As to official websites or people who review movies, one of them was a Brazilian website who got to see it. Now, I don't trust this one all that much because the review is really weirdly set up. They go back and forth in comparing the new movie to the old movie, which in a way to me, that's not really fair. At this point, it's apples and origins. These are very different Chuckies. They have similar elements to them, but in the end day, I think these are different movies and I don't really think comparing it on a full on review is good. But by the end of the movie, he says 10 out of 10 for the old one and the new one. The closest thing to a negative review right now is all I could find from flicks.co saying that this movie is definitely fun, enjoyable, a good ride, but if you're looking for the cursing, foul mouth, evil personality filled doll, this ain't it. It's a very much different take. I don't want to read too much into it because hey, I'm seeing this movie tonight. The day I'm posting this video, I am seeing the movie early. I'll have a review for you guys Thursday in the afternoon. I am super pumped and as a movie critic, I don't really like to look at reviews for a movie I haven't seen yet. I like to just see a little tagline or a little sentence of what they thought. But to go in full detail to someone's review, I kind of feel like that influences me and it makes me already predetermine my decision of the movie. So just reading the last paragraph, which is basically the summary of a person Person's review they say it's fun it's good but hey it's not the old Chucky you know which yeah obviously we know that so that's really it guys the end of Chucky boy what a freaking era you guys have been fantastic and even if you don't stick around if this is the end of my channel man it has been one hell of a fun ride. I never thought talking about Chucky could get me so high in some places. The little seven-year-old boy who was obsessed with a killer doll going after Andy has made it this far. If you're watching this and you see me at the screening I'm attending, because chances are you probably will if you're watching this. I don't want to give the exact address because there's some wackos out there worse than Chucky. But please don't be afraid to say hi. Hey, I might even have a little surprise for you if you be kind. But I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with my official review of Child's Play. <sighs> I can't wait. So be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chucky Boy. Good night, Andy.